advanced techniques. So in this section, we're going to have a look at uh, some advanced techniques such as uh, data augmentation, uh, transfer learning, hyperparameter search, and some natural language processing topics. So let's get started with data augmentation. So in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, what is data augmentation and in which cases should it be used. We're also going to see some data augmentation techniques and then finally we're going to see the Keras Image Augmentation API and this is the official API. So what is data augmentation? So nowadays you know that in order to have efficient deep networks you need to have a large amount of training data to achieve very good performance. But most of the time you don't have this big data. So whenever you have very little training data you can use uh, many techniques to get more data. So one technique in particular, it's called image augmentation. So image augmentation, it artificially creates new training images uh, by applying transformations on the data. For example, you can do some random rotations, you can do shift in the data, you can do mirroring and so on and so on. So the data augmentation techniques, so for images, like I was saying, you have random rotation and so on and so on. But also, and this is another example, uh, sometimes you can also deal with SAM. So I don't know, you can uh, maybe uh, do a speaker verification system in deep learning. So whenever you want to associate uh, one, I one unique ID to a speaker. So in that case, uh, you will have to deal with SAM and uh, you may not have as much data as you want. So you, with data augmentation, you can actually build a lot of new data. So I know Baidu is doing that, for example, reverberation, echo, jitter, time shift, pitch shift, background noise, and so on and so on. So on the example, you see a cat. So you see A, the point A, it's uh, no augmentation. So you have an image and then uh, this is the same image. Uh, so you can do flip augmentation. So it's like uh, mirroring and then crop plus flip. So you can actually have a lot of um, new images. So we're going to see the Keras uh, image augmentation API now. So the Keras API, so they define an image data generator, which is an object. So you have to define this object first by inputting the configuration. For example, uh, the rotation in like the rotation angle or the max rotation angle, shifts and so on, shear, zoom, and so on and so on and so on. So this is defined here. And then um, once this object is built, you can actually call the method flow and you will get unlimited new images so automatically generated so this is a real time um, data augmentation so the data will be looped over indefinitely so in this example i'm going to use mnist data here so this is just the way i load the data and in this function what i do is that this function expects so a data gen object this is the image data generation object so we're going to fit this object onto the training data and then uh, we're just going to call this method dot flow like this. And then we're going to iterate uh, indefinitely. So let's do some example. I put a rotation range of 45 degree max. So it means that the image data generation will randomly generate image with a maximum rotation range of 45 degree. And then we're going to see something like this. For example, this is a nine. This is a nine, this is a one. So this is two, three and so on. So most of the time, on average, um, the rotation will be uh, around zero, but it's going to be from minus 45 to plus 45. So we can actually do a horizontal flip. So this is called uh, mirroring as well. So we just shift everything across the horizontal dimension. But of course it doesn't make sense here because we're dealing with digits. For example, this one is a seven. But if you flip it horizontally, it's not seven anymore. So same for the three. So it doesn't mean a lot for MNIST data, but of course for real data. So for when you have a picture of a face or a picture of a man and so on. This is, as you may expect, this is a parameter controlling the zoom. So we can zoom in uh, and here we can add a shift along the width or along the height. So here the eight is not centered anymore, the four, as well five and so on and so on 